In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful scrapbook layout using one of the Collider frames from Poppy Hill Designs. We'll be using Adobe Photoshop Elements 10, and let's go ahead and get started. So I'll close this document here because that's the finished one. Then I'm going to go up to File, select New, select Blank File. And I'm going to work in inches, so I'll choose a width of 12, a height of 12, resolution 300 and I'd like a transparent background. Click OK and here's my blank document. Now on the project bin I have all the digital papers and elements that I'll be using to create this project. So I'm simply going to click, drag and drop my first digital paper onto the new document and that will automatically create its own layer. Then I'll go down to the blue piece of paper and do the exact same thing but I need to reduce the size of this slightly. So I'm going to bring that down, reduce that so it sits on top of the sand colored background. Now what I need to do now is create a border around this piece of paper, but I want it to be on its own separate layer. So to do that, I go down to this menu, select Create New Layer. Then I'll go up to the Marquee Toolbar, now if you don't see the rectangle, just click on it and hold and you'll see what's available. So we'll select Rectangle. Then I'm going to go up to the top corner of the blue paper, hold down my Shift key, and that way I can draw an exact square and draw that the same size as the blue paper. Then go over to Edit, select Stroke Selection, and I've got a width of 40 pixels and then you can choose the color that you like. So I've got my color selected here. Then it says location. I'm going to choose inside. Click OK and what that's going to do is apply a border on top of that blue sheet of paper but it's on its own layer and I did it this way because I want to add some special effects to it. So if you go over to the effects panel I'm going to select bevel and then this one it says simple pillow emboss. Hit click, click apply, and that applies that special, you know, the special effect bevel just to the frame. Then I'll hit control D and that deselects that layer. And it looks like it's a little bit off center, so I'll go up to my move tool and with the arrows on my keyboard, I'm just going to move that over slightly so that's right on top of that blue piece of paper. Okay. So I'm still on this top layer, the one that we just created here. Now my next piece of paper is this one with four different colors on it. So I'm going to drag and drop that into place and then also reduce the size and center on top of the blue paper. Okay. Then I've got my last piece of digital paper here, just drag and drop, reduce the size. So that's on top of the, the paper with the four colors there. And so now I have all these things in place. So the next step is to basically add the photograph and the collider frame. So let me have a quick look here at the collider frame. You can see that it's, it's, 300, it's 300 dpi, 3 inches, and it's square. Now you could resize this so that it fits your photograph. So you could you know make it more of an oval frame if you like. It's up to you. Or, in this particular instance, my photograph, even though it's 4 by 6 I'm going to crop that into a square so that it fits into the Collider frame. So I've got my photograph open. I'm going to double click on this lock, hit OK, and that unlocks the image. Then I'm going to go back over to my Marquee tool, hold down my Shift key, and draw a perfect square. Now I can move this square around the image and what I want to do is have it so the figure of the woman is off to the side because I'm going to add some text in here. So I like the position of this right here. I'm going to go up to image and select crop and now that image has been cropped into a square. So I'm going to go back to the master layout. I've got my top layer selected. Then I'm going to simply drag and drop that photograph onto the page. Then I'm going to drag and drop the Collider frame onto the page. 
So with the Collider Frame as my top layer, so that's still selected, I've got my Move Tool selected, and I'm going to increase the size of it. Okay, so I've got that in position. Now I'm going to click on my photograph, and I'm going to resize that. Now make sure that when you place your photograph behind a Collider Frame, that you give yourself a big enough border. So you can see here, this is the edge of the photograph, and here's the center of the frame. If you don't, like for example, if I pull this in here a little bit, I'll click OK, you can see you lose some of the effect of the Collider Frame. So I've got to make sure that I have this in position, and that I don't size it too small so that I lose the effect of the frame. OK. So that's great. I've got that in position. Now we're almost done. Now I'm going, going to click on the Collider Frame because that is my top layer. Then I'm going to go down to Create New Layer. Go over to my Text Tool. And the font that I'll be using is called Freebooter Script. And I'm going to increase the size to 60 points. And then I need to choose a color. I want this to be quite a bit lighter and I have center the text as my selection. So what I want to do is click my mouse here and then simply begin typing. Click on the green check mark and then I'll click on my move tool. And it's a little bit difficult to see. So now I'm going to go back over to my effects panel, select drop shadow, click on a drop shadow, and then click Apply. Now if the effect is too strong, all you do is go down to that layer, double click on the little FX symbol, and you can use the slider bars to adjust the, uh, the density or the, the strength of that particular effect. Okay, and now we've got the text added. And you can resize that text if you like. I mean, just double click on it, you can change the distance between each of the uh, the lines, so you can you know, or decrease it or increase it, whatever your preference is. You can change the font or unchange the color. So it's entirely up to you what you choose to do. Okay, position that on the layout, and that's perfect. So this is all the basic elements for this digital layout. So now what I want to do just to finish it off is just maybe add some shadowing or bevel to some of the different papers. So what I'm going to do is click on this first one here that has the four colors. And I want to make this transparent. So I'm going to go up to the opacity. And I'm going to dial this down to 55, just like that. So it's got a nice transparent blend and almost looks like vellum paper. And while I've got this layer selected, I think I will add a drop shadow to it. Maybe not that strong, but decrease that there. That looks great. Then I'm going to click on this layer, which is the background paper to the Collider Frame. And I want to add some different effects to that also. So I just double clicked on this soft edge. Then I'm going to double click on FX. And I'm going to dial this down quite a bit too. And I think I might add a little bit of a bevel to it. Again, these selections are entirely up to you. Um, these are just ones that I like. Click OK. Now, I like the effects that I added to this layer, and I want to add them to the Collider Frame. So a quick way to do that is just click on the layer, just do a left click, right click, and then left click Copy Layer Style. Go up to the layer that you would like to apply them to, right click and then left click paste layer style and it will add the exact same effects from that layer to the, la the new layer that you selected. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that and this concludes how to make a digital layout in Photoshop Elements using the Collider Frames from Poppy Hill Designs. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please stop by our website, take a look at some of the other great examples that we have. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us.